Hello and welcome to another Adventure Craft tutorial. In this tutorial, we're covering how to make maps which are selected when a player starts a game and control the terrain that is loaded. Uh, maps make it so that the player isn't actually changing the content itself in just a save file and allows them to be able to restart over just by making a new, loading a new save game or deleting the previous one. So an example would be, come over here, click on wall 2, we can see there's Biome Test and Mayan Temple. Click on the Mayan Temple will load up is the test level that comes with Adventure Craft, as you can see. Alright, so now let's go show how to actually make one of these. So, um, the key to this is in Adventure Craft, there's a folder called Maps, so we go into there, and you can see that there's the two map levels that we discussed at and saw on the map selection screen. Any folder that's uh, in this directory uh, will be appear on the map selection screen. So let's go ahead and create a uh, a new one. We're going to copy Biotest as our base. Call it Tutorial Map. So, in this directory, there's four special files. So, description.txt, this is what gets displayed on the map selection screen for the text for describing the map. So, we're going to just say Tutorial Test Map. So, when we select this map, we'll see this description. Um, Biomap.png, this controls the uh, temperature and humidity of the map. Terrainmap.png, this controls the, um, how the, uh, the height map of the terrain and also the height of the water, as well as uh, controlling a few more options. Thumbnail.png is the tech, uh, icon that you actually will see on the map selection screen, so you can change that to whatever you want it to be, see what the player sees when they select the maps. All right. Let's open up these images. So we can talk about them some more. First off, we're going to work with uh, the terrain map. Um, the main thing to note about this is that, as I said before, it controls the terrain and water height maps. Each channel uh, controls a separate element of the map. Um, the green channel over here, this controls the um, uh, height of the terrain, and the blue channel controls the height of the water. Now red channel, it's a special channel that controls where they're just going to be sand on the beaches or not. So, you either have a beach with sand, or you'll just have the grass coming up to it. The, the criteria that controls whether there's sand or not is if the value is above 127, there's sand. If it's below 127, um, it's grass or whatever it, that biome type has. So, let's start off with making an island. Um, let's go... It's going to start off with... We're going to make it so that there's starts off like that. We're going to grab the brush. We're going to do middle gray level. So we go like this. We're painting on the green. We're going to have a little cove here. Just, actually, I'll just make it so there's going to be a lake in the middle. All right. And we'll make it also a slightly higher one. 86. So this way going to actually be a ring. All right. Now we're going to make the water that brightness 79% and we're going to make it even except actually in the middle we're going to put it to say instead 75% so this way The water in the middle will be actually higher than the water on the outside. All right, and we're going to make it so half the map has beaches and half the map doesn't. So the west side of the map will have beaches and the east side won't. All right. Now let's move on to the biomap.png. Uh, the biomap.png controls the uh, biome settings and, in particular. Um, the red channel controls the temperature, and blue controls the humidity. Uh, white stands for full heat or full humidity, while black is freezing or dry. We're going to make it so that in the north it will be cold, and in the south it's going to be hot. So grab the gradient tool real quick. As I said, hot in the south and warm in the uh, cold in the uh, north. And blue channel. This controls the humidity, as we said. Uh, we're going to make it so it's dry on the east, west coast, and it's going to be moist on the west. All right. 
So now that will control that, and we should get a good selection of all the biomes. All right. Now we're going to move on to the thumbnail. Um, just for simplicity's sake, we're just going to make a nice little gradient here like this. That will be our thumbnail. So now, if we go into the game, we'll be able to see this tutorial map. So let's go over here, start the game. We go over here to single player, select the new map. You see our tutorial map here with the new uh, t t description text as well as our gradient for our icon name. Select it. Um, as it's loading this up, it's time to start talking about uh, map editing. Um, so when you actually load up one of these, you're going to want to edit your map. So that's where map edit mode comes into play. So first, let's just briefly look at this map. Activate fly mode. What we see is we got this island, and as we said before, we got a nice coast over here. And the terrain varies. From the, from, it's cold up there in the north, and we can see it's um, over here on the south. It's warmer, and we got rainforest over there, while it's, uh, it gets dry over there. All right. So back to map editing. Um, to be able to edit the map, um, the, so the player can't change it normally. Uh, we activate the map editing mode. Um, do that. Type in slash map edit. Um, now any changes I do will get saved out, which including the player position. So let's uh, let's build come over here. Let's just build a little igloo or something. Oh, okay, let's actually just build more bricks. And I'm just gonna build something simple. Just a little nice. All right, that will work. So all we have here is this little structure. So now, if we quit the, this map, in fact, actually, let's go save in here just to show that the position gets saved across maps. So we save in here. When I load up this map again, we're going to see the bricks get saved into place, um, as well as the position saved. So that's how you control where the player gets to start and allows you to edit terrain. Going to demonstrate real quick as well. All right, so as you see, we start exactly the same place, even though this is a new scene. Now, if I come over here and I disable map edit mode, I'm still in debug mode, so I can place things. But now, if we save and quit. If I go start on the fifth map, the tutorial map. We're going to see my changes do not take effect, and this is what the player normally will be doing: is that anything that they're changing will not be affected in the map. But they'll still get the content that was uh, created and saved from the map that it was on. All right, so wrapping up this tutorial, uh, I've shown you how to create your own maps with custom terrain to share with others, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching, and please enjoy making maps in AdventureCraft.